Hi everyone, I have a new order from Crystal Kingdom that finally got here. I had this one sent uh, via ship, C, via C shipping, <laughs> and it's just now got here. And this one has several orders combined. There's another box that there's just this one is huge. See, um, look, goodness gracious, look. Stick with me and we'll look at everything in it together and the other box I'll just have to do in part two and maybe even a part three but <laughs> this has some really neat stuff in it that you haven't seen yet so I'm so excited everyone how in the world am I gonna get through this now I have already opened this up you can see in here I've already it looks like it's still sealed you know still um, in their shipping wrapping but I left some around everything because I didn't want things scratching up whenever I carry it from the other room into here um, I wanted to because I was waiting on certain specific things that I was so excited about um, I went ahead and opened it up uh, and, and everything so but I re put some of the packing the uh, bubble wrap around them so this is gonna be hard to go through um, we just have to see how I can do this whether I can um, I have another box Frodo what are you doing He's in this big old huge comforter and he's getting all, he's trying to make a bed in there. You trying to make a little nest. Look at his little, he made little eyes. Look, okay, so sweepy. He's sleepy. Okay. Anyways, I have another box over here that I will probably transfer what I've, what I opened into the other box. This is awful heavy. I'm telling you what. I, and I have, I have so many that have come in. Some went air and got here this week, and then all the ones from the sea got here from this week. So I've got boxes like this in my dining room. I am so backed up. <laughs> so um, if you see something on here that I unwrap that you just got to have, you need to let me know. Go to uh, Sun, Sun Dancer Art Gallery on Facebook and send me a message or Mim's House on Facebook. It's M-I-M-S-H-O-W-S-E like piglet or Pooh Bear spells it. Then send me a message through there. That'll get to me way quicker than if you go through my Sun Dancer Art Gallery website uh, messaging. Um, so anyways I'm gonna put I'm gonna try to take a picture of every little thing and put it on my fa my um, Sundance Art Gallery Facebook page in one post and now the pictures of it will all be down in there whatever and you can you can figure out which ones you want and let me know that way too so just bear with me it's gonna take a bit this is just one of the boxes they all come in at once, and I knew they would. I knew they'd all just come flying in at once, and then I would be like, what am I going to do? I got, how am I going to have all the room on my dad, um, in my booth? I, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm going to have to start selling some. And this, this thing right here that holds these diamond paintings, I know I'm, I'm digressing. It holds them on both sides, the back side and the front side. What I'm finding out is the diamond paintings with the, uh, if you keep the diamonds in it, the diamond paintings are so heavy that the little holders up there at the top of the door, it just ain't going to ha happen. I'm going to have to take this and take the ones off the back and take all the, the, uh, di the diamonds out of them and store them in another place. That's that's sort of an update on this. I'll do it. I'll do another update on some of the other things all in one video. Um, you know, but if this falls, 
while we're looking at this, that's what's happened. It's the little metal things up there that goes over the door. They kind of hang over the door. One of them just wants to, to, to come off because it's so heavy. It just cannot hold as many holes as it has on it. And so that's a design flaw. So I need to let that company know that great idea, but the thing up at the top is not going to, it's not working. It's not going to, it's not going to make it. So, and you know, diamond paintings aren't that very heavy, you know, and you know, vinyl rolls, this is a vinyl roll uh, holder and that's what it's made for. And they're heavier than diamond paintings. So anyways, that's a good little in the middle digression from what I'm supposed to be doing here anyways but I just wanted to warn you if that falls that's what's happened and it's so heavy that it's hard to put it back up on there I have to take it has fell once before and I had to take the uh, things out of it to get it back up there and I think what it was is I had the little things um, turned wrong at the top but now uh, it's it's still doing it so it doesn't matter it's it's the weight and stuff anyways let me get you positioned down so you can see what comes out of this box oh my back is i have really got a bad back especially on this right side it's just really really bad right now so i was gonna put you down low so you can see okay we know that this is one of the things we know what these are. These, this was a whole pack of ammonites fossils, and they're they're um, actually uh, slices that match each other. I mean, they're they're one. You see that? That makes one. Okay, they sliced it, and you get both of them. All right, and on the back, you can see some of them have some good flash, some rainbow colors. You know, if you can see through the that uh, plastic. But when I sell these, they'll be a, a pair. Okay, that's what I was trying to say. A pair. They just, this is how they came. So those are ammonites. And they are the little uh, fossil snails. You've seen that before in some of my other videos. And a lot of jewelry makers love these. They make beautiful pendants, and, and when you have the pair, you can do all sorts of things with them, but it's nice to have both sides of it. Okay, so we're going to put that over there. Um, another thing you'll see is these. This is what my daughter loves. She loves axol axolotls, I think their name is. I'm not sure, but... Um, And these are smelt, and this is red jade, and this is, uh, I think that's a smelt, or whatever. But anyways, these are what every teenager is going crazy over. So there, you can actually get a live one of these, and, and it live in an aquarium. They're like little salamanders with little, little funny uh, gills on the sides of their faces. I mean, I don't know if you've had a uh, family member or a child that says they want one of these, but everybody loves these, okay? So these will be, um, they're carved. So these will be around $15 a piece, okay? Whoops. Not if I break them. <laughs> no, that one's a, no, we don't need any legs up belly up like you're dead we don't want that okay and here's another thing that i've gotten a lot of these of a lot of people want the smaller little crystals and these are the uh aura, Qu aura quartz crystals with titanium um heat melt on it and i hate to show you my finger i just went to the doctor and they did my hemoglobin, so there, there you go for that. And then this one, I, I mashed my finger, helping my brother. And and then I uh, was rock counting this weekend where we go hunting, found a whole bunch of rocks that may be fire quartz and stuff. 
but uh, I busted my knuckles on them. But anyways, this right here is really nice. These little bitty um, R crystals. Some people don't want the big ones. They like the little ones. And so we've got several of those that you'll see. And let's see, a lot of, all of this stuff at the top is small stuff. Um, because I did, <laughs> because I, I have put all the bot the big stuff on the bottom. There's a little, there's a, another little, small little quartz thing. This is natural. This is what they, this is what this would look like. Um, if it come out, if you didn't put the, the titanium on there. But you can see where this one actually had a point grow through this one. Isn't that neat? You can see where they grew, and it's very clear. Very clear. Now, they are fragile. And this piece actually fell off of, come off of this piece. But that's okay. All of this will go together. All these pieces will go together. Take that off. And let's see what's in this one. This is a bigger one. This is a little bigger. But you can see just how clear and pretty these come out of the ground exactly like this. This has not been uh, polished or, or shaped in any way this way. This is how they naturally come out of the ground. And the difference between that one and this one is this one's been heat treated with Aura Titanium to give it that iridescent look. Some people want it just like this and does not, do not like it to be messed with. That is just fine. But there's people that like all kinds of things. So all of these are going to be available. Um, here's some more axolotls. These are the um, opalite. And you see some, one's fatter than the other one. You can see just how pretty that opalite is, they kind of glow. It feels like it absorbs the light and it makes it look like it's glowing. But these little things are so cute. It makes me want to buy one and have it in a, an aquarium and as a pet. But yeah, that's the opalite ones. I don't know what to grab, there's so many. <laughs> So many things. Let me just grab something. And I, I didn't need to put this tape back on it, but anyways. Here's another one. Another one of these. Quartz crystals cluster. It's a little mini one. We'll put that right there. Let's look at this. Let's see. What is this little thing? And all the little smalls first. There's another little bitty one. Look at this little bitty blue titanium quartz, aura quartz cluster. Isn't that the cutest little thing you've ever seen? It's so tiny. It's so tiny. It's so pretty. I'm going to put you down here with this purple one. Oops. See, this tape wants to stick to everything. Let's put you back over here. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? What else? I've got a whole box here. We ain't even barely even. We just got started, youngins. Here's a purple one. If you like purple, it's just like this other one. This is the first one. And here is the second one. You can just see how pretty. They turned out okay. Oh, sticking to me. Okay, let's see here. 
I think I used the tape on these because I just did not want them to fall out because these little, the little, um, now I can't get it open. Because these little ones are very fragile. You don't want your, your little crystals to come apart. Oh, and now this is a little teeny tiny mini cathedral. Whenever it, an amethyst, you see that? Drusy, oh, oh my goodness, how pretty, how pretty is this? Let's not look at my finger. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everybody. But look, isn't that nice? And it's it's a little cave-like. It looks like a little cave. And it sits like that. It's so cute. Yep, we love it. Okay, now the next thing is a little different. You're going to fall in love with this. And this is a wooden carving horse. It's got little wings, little pegasus. And look at those pretty eyes. He's so pretty. Isn't he cute? He or she, whichever you want to do. And they're, they're, they're just that big. Okay. And it is a wood carving. Pretty little horse. Pretty. We love it. Okay, put it back there. Get off. Um, let's see what's in this one. Okay, this is another ammonite fossil pair. They go together. One's just in a, a baggie. They didn't put it. They didn't put it back in the baggie. But anyways, that goes with that one. And you get the pair. And you can see where it's tried to make a little druzy in here as it was forming. You can see these go together. Really nice, aren't they? So there's those. Well, let's just well, I don't want to lose the the wrapping for it because of Trying to get these things from my house to the booth is going to be kind of hairy because some of this is really, really, really um, fragile. So here's another little blue one. The first one was here. This is the first one. This is the second one. I am going a little faster than I normally usually do because <laughs> this is a big box. All right. Here's another pair of ammonites. Okay, the, the tape is getting stuck on my hair. <laughs> Here's another pair of ammonites. This is the blonde color, the more of the lighter color. And they go together. Aren't they pretty? We just think these are so neat. Love the, the, the pattern on them. Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm going to have all this tape over here. I don't know why I taped that one up so tight. Okay, what is this? Okay, this is... Wait a minute. It's another one of those crystal, crystal clusters. But I've got it so wrapped. Let's come back to that later. Um, I tried just to put one little tiny piece of tape so it would be easy to open up. Here's another one. This one is... A two, it has two with small and you can see the little inclusions inside of it and the little things that it just makes it really neat these are very clear very nice quality very nice I don't know if I even opened this one this one I may not have opened but it's another one of the white crystal clusters 
Let me see if I can get it out this way. I don't want to break any of it off, but whoop, there we go. This is another crystal cluster. You can see how this one has grown into that one up the side. It's just really cool. Okay, put it back in there. All right, now, okay, we have another horse. I think this is another horse. Yes, another little horse. Let me see this little horsey. Pegasus. This one's a little lighter than the other one. Just barely. You can see them. These two little horses. Aren't they cute? I need to message them and find out what um, the um, wood is that they carpet out of. This is from Crystal Kingdom on Facebook. And now this tape is wanting to give me a hard time, as usual. And another one of these little crystal. <laughs> I must have gotten like a, a a big bin, I mean a bin that had a whole bunch of them in it. And sometimes they have like deals for that. So, And you can see where these crystals are, are growing up through into other crystals. And they'll actually come out of a crystal. Go up through and come out. And you can see just how some of these crystals are. The way they grow is really interesting, but this is the natural quartz clusters. Those are the natural ones. Here's another. Oh, this is this is awesome. This is a pink or purple mica. It's rare. It's not like regular mica. It had it's a it got a pinkish purplish color to the to it. I hope that you can see that right there. And it looked just neat, neat, neat. It's really neat. There's the back side. If you're familiar with mica, you know it has layers. But this is so neat. I have never seen this kind before. Okay. Get closer to myself in that box so that way, because I keep going further out on the far side. I'm going to try to do it even. And this is, an, this, uh, this is another wood carving, but it is of an angel. It is a beautiful little angel. And she's sleeping or praying. You see her little feet. Let me use my other hand. <laughs> you see her little feet. And her little face. Her wings. She is so pretty. Remember, if you if this is something you would love to have, got to get over and message me as quickly as you can. Okay. Now, before other people do, so that way you'll be first in line. Um, this is another Aura Crystal, except this one is pink. Okay, come on. Focus on it. It is pink. And it is really pretty. Really, really, really pretty. That pretty aura color. Don't want to drop it. There we go. Let's put it back in there. Okay. Another little horsey, and you've seen the horses. So there's another one. Okay. Um, okay. 
I get tape everywhere. <laughs> I think this is more of the purple mica. So if you haven't ever seen purple mica, pink or purple mica, you, now you can say you have. Because this is just gorgeous. When I opened this up, I was so excited to see this. This is so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Really, really, really pretty and shiny. Great specimens right here. You can, um, if you wanted to make a pendant, you could. It's just, I just like looking at it. It's so pretty. Okay, now let's look in here. Let's see what this is. Another little axolotl. Another one. I'm just going to put all that down there because it's starting to... Okay, here we go. This is two of the Mica Tower points. I'm going to have to go down. Two of the Mica Towers. This is that purple Mica shaped into a tower. And they're sort of flat. Flat, more flat than they are square but you know what i'm saying but anyways they are about the size of your pointer finger halfway the little one is and then this one's a little bit bigger just tiny bit bigger not much aren't those neat i just i, I got those because i had never seen purple mica and i thought well that is just, I, I just want you to see that up close. Look how purple that is. And it's mica. Oh, I'm so sorry about my finger. Don't lash your fingers whenever you're trying to, when you know you have to show people things on, on a video. <laughs> but do you see how pretty and shiny and purple I've never seen mica that way. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Okay. I must have went crazy. I went crystal crazy. Come on. Where is the edge? We shall find it. We shall find it. We will not give up. There it is. Another quartz point, I mean crystal cluster, <laughs> quartz crystal cluster. <gasps> I'm not saying things correctly and I'm not on the camera where I should be. Isn't that nice? Looks like ice. Just looks so much like ice. Okay, let's look at another set. I think this is another set of the mica points. Uh, tower. <gasps> don't do that. Don't. Don't you dare. It's okay. Making sure I didn't scratch it at all. Okay. It's fine. But you can see these two. These are about the same size as the other two. And you can see just how wonderful purple they are. And then they've got that beautiful uh, metallic look that you know mica has that shiny mica shine to it okay there's those now, let's see there's another uh, yep it is it's another one <laughs> It's smelt. It's blue and clear. Another one of those. Now this one is actually jade. Okay. This one is actually smelt. Cut, uh, carvings. Alright. Uh, let's see. This is around. Oh my goodness. The tape. Why did I bother putting tape on there? Crazy. Just nuts. I'm nuts for putting the tape on it. 
Okay, here we go, youngins. We have another little crystal cave-like cathedral or whatever you want to call it. Some people call them cathedrals. Some people call them the caves. Or and It's an amethyst. This is a beautiful dream amethyst. Isn't it pretty? And it sits just like that, this on the table. And it's so pretty. It's so pretty. There's one of those. If you want to take a screenshot of whatever I'm showing, you can pause the, the video, take a screenshot, and then you can send it to me on the messenger. At, at Men's House or Sundancer Art Gallery. Okay, here's another quartz. <laughs> all of them are at the top of this box because I put all the small stuff at the top. And see, this one sits more like that. It's like su Superman's house. You know. There's another one of those. It's looking all crazy with all this. Okay, I can't see this corner, so I'm just digging. Okay, here's another aura. A small aura. Okay, youngins. The tape has got to go. Here's another purple aura quartz cluster. Isn't it nice? It's a little small one, just like the others. A little bit bigger than some of the others. Just kind of letting you see the how big it's in my hand. The different. Okay. Okay, let's see. Something a little bigger. What is this? It's light. Okay. It's a... It's another angel, another wooden angel. For those of you who love angels, it's a wood carving and it's really pretty. Look at her little hair and everything. Beautiful little gift for Christmas for somebody, especially if they've had a little newborn. You could get that for the little newborn. Really cute. Okay, I've got some stuck in me. Anyways, alright, now, anything else closer to me that's. It's probably another one of those crystal quartz. Yep. Well, I must have went crazy with these little things. But a lot of people love these. This is one of the best sellers. They want this. Just, I mean, they may not can afford the big, huge ones, but they love the little ones and can do things and use them in little projects or little decorations in their house. Yeah, it doesn't have to be huge. All right, let's put that over there. Here's another Ammonite set, I do believe. Whoop! They popped out of there, didn't they? And I caught them quick. Because these are really pretty. This one has a red flash on both sides. You can see this red flash on this one. I hope. If I can move my fingers out of the way. You can see that red flash right there. I think you can see it right there really good. That, that light. And then on this other side... All the different colors the red and then in the inside this is what it looks like on the inside aren't these cool don't you fall okay that's the inside of them that's a pair oh. Close to having to clear the desk off, and they gave me this. And I believe this is um, this is a gift. This is um, obsidian. 
I believe. And it's made into a mug. They've carved it into a mug. You can see inside there how they have carved. It's not as deep as the mug is. It's just about halfway down. But isn't that neat? Now, some things I don't recommend drinking out of until you find out if the gemstone releases any kind of toxins like lead or anything like that. You want to make sure whatever gemstone that you make something out of that you eat from is from a uh, gemstone that does not release toxins, okay? Because I've seen gemstone spoons and things like that, and you just, you want to make sure that you're not um, poisoning yourself, okay? And this is the uh, stands for something that I have in here, the little stands. And whenever I sell something that is on a stand, the stand comes with it, okay? Now, here is a cat. This probably won't be for sale. This is too much like my cat that's 14 years old. It has a little, it's an agate. It's a blue agate. And this has got a little chip right there. Oh, well. But it's a, no matter. I'll, I'm going to keep this. This is a blue agate. And it has a little bit of druzy in there. You can see that. And my kitty cat is 14 years old. Her name is Lady Elizabeth, Lizbeth, and this just looks just like her. This is the way her coloring is, and I love it. So this is probably going to stay mine. All right, something bigger here. Let's see what this is. Oh, I'm going to have people fighting over this. Uh-oh, there went one on the floor. Wait a minute. We don't want to lose one. All right, this right here is a rose quartz angel. It is carved out of rose quartz, completely out of rose quartz, and it is an angel. So I probably will have people fighting over this, wanting this one. <laughs> so... This one is very, very special, very special. And if you love angels and you know somebody that loves angels, you, you may want to hurry and let me know if you want to give this a gift to somebody. So just take a screenshot of it and let me know if that, you know, if you'd like to have that one. Okay. Let's put her right there. What else? What is this? Here's another little, uh, if I can get the, the tape, the tape. All right, here is another little amethyst, dream amethyst, cave-like. It's mini, mini. It is so cute. Love it. Okay. That right there. Don't you roll off. Don't you roll. Don't. Okay. All right. Now, we're about half. We're about halfway now. Now, why is this in here? Why is there extra? Oh, I see why. Okay. Here is another thing that you're going to, everybody's going to go crazy over. They're going to want this. And it's gonna be it's a, it's gonna be a high end piece. It's a high end piece because it is carved jade and R of and it has Ara treatment to it. It is a whoops. You see how long my fingers are, all the way up past. You can see. I'm gonna show you the difference between her and the rose quartz one. This is a large. I'm gonna say she's at least almost 10 inches if not more but um i'll have to if somebody wants me to measure it i can measure it for them to get an exact but this is a jade this is white jade with titanium aura applied and you can see her wing comes one wing comes back here on her back and the other one swirls 
to the front. So, yes, if you would like this one, please take a screenshot and let me know at uh, Sundancer Art Gallery on Facebook or Mim's House on Facebook, and that's how we'll, we'll get it together. What happens is, is if you have more than one thing, I will get it, I'll, I'll make a box for you with your name on it, and we'll put everything in that box that you want, and then I will tally up how much it is, and then can send you an invoice through PayPal, and you don't have to have a PayPal account, you can use any credit card to pay an invoice that has come from PayPal. So, no worries there, uh, and that's how it'll be done. So, very simple, very easy. I've done it several times when I'm ordering these things on, on the live shows. Now, this is, these are rose, I mean, flower agate. And if you like to do jewelry and you want a pendant, flower agate, pendants or flower agate, items to put on bracelets, like leather bracelets like I do. I don't think these have holes in them. They're not drilled. But no matter if you know how to wire wrap, you can do it without... I'm trying to get this one over here. It's really pretty. And these will be sold singles, singly. And I'm going to show you what they look like. If I don't drop any... You just see how pretty these are. And these are the flower agate. And you can see how clear and pretty these are. Very good quality. Great quality right here in these. And look at this one. Doesn't that look like a bunch of flowers in that? It's just gorgeous. And when you look at them on the back side, they're just as pretty. That looks just like little flowers in there. And then you, I've got some square ones, which will be great for uh, leather bracelets. Um, and then we have some that are have a little more of a pink red to it. Uh, just a lot of different ones. And I'll, I'll take, I'll make a whole uh, post about these. And then in the comments, I'll put each one separate. So if you want to buy one, I'll put the price and each one separate. And you can just put your, when you comment under it, be the first to comment and say, okay, me, I want that one. Or sold. And then I'll message you and I'll put it in your box if you want to have a box in your name. If you have more things that you want. Here's another purple. This one's a little bigger than those other ones. It's a little more thin through the bottom, but really pretty. Really, really, really pretty. Over there, I've got bubble wrap all over the place. And here's a red one. Some people want red ones. Some people love the little red ones. They want to make something out of them. Or just like looking at it. You know somebody that loves red? That's a really good gift for them. It's unique. And it's things that you can't get at normal places. Okay. Here is a new item. And it goes along with these, these angels. It's small ones. These are uh, all made out of, carved out of opalite. And they're angels, little opalite angels, carved, just like these big ones. You can see them, how pretty they are. And they like to glow. Well, they, they feel like, they, they look like they glow because of how pretty that, opalite is. It's like it cap it captures some of that light in the room. Yeah, and so these will be for sale as well. Okay. Let's close 
those out if I don't want them to fall out. Okay, let's see. What is this? Another tape. Okay. Another, this is some more, some more of that purple mica specimen. Oh my goodness. Beautiful purple mica. Beautiful purple mica. Love it. And this is how it comes out of the ground right here. Just like that. It doesn't, it's, this has not been uh, heat treated. This has not had anything done to it other than being cleaned up, ready to be sold. And this is natural purple mica. Okay, let's see here. I've got a lot of big stuff here. Big. Okay, these are amethyst spheres, mini spheres. Some people love the little mini spheres. They like to put them in their pocket. This one is not cracked. It's just got inclusions in it from where it's so clear. That's just the way the stone is. I got more in this bag, but you can see how nice these are. They're clear. You can see through some of them. They're really nice. Okay. Little spheres. Let's see if I can get them in there carefully. And they're very cold. I love holding these. I feel like holding little ice cubes. That's again how you can tell gemstones from man-made is uh, man-made will not feel cold to the touch. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all this little small stuff in a box and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, let me go ahead and do these. Um, I want to get out all of these pendants that I've got and they will come with a cord. Um, these are moon pendants in different designs okay we have this bag is the moon pendants with the let's see, is that black oh, that's purple and black and then we've got some green let me go ahead and get them out here we have some green opalite that's a green uh venturine uh rose quartz here's a purple a blue one I I think that is lapis. Um, there's another one. Here's a black one. Another adventuring. Another tiger's eye. Another obsidian. The black is obsidian. Uh, I think that's another tiger eye. Another tiger eye. I've got three of these. Okay, so we'll move this down. We've got the pink rose quartz. We have the opalite, two opalites. We have three adventuring, green adventuring. Here's some more opalite. There's three, and there's the three of the rose quartz. And then here is the lapis and another, let's see, what is this? Another obsidian. Okay, so I'm going to take one out of each one. So that way I can show you up close what each one looks like. Let, what, let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do, look at me. Let me show you what the opalite one looks like. Open. I'll open it up. It is a wire wrapped moon. Whoops. Sorry. It's wire wrapped moon. And it has stars and things all around it. Isn't it really pretty? Now each one are all about the same. They may have a little bit of a difference in the wire wrapping. But it's not much of a difference. They've got little loops and everything. And this will come on a cord if I have enough to put on each one. So there is the opalite. Here is the um, obsidian. 
cute is the green adventuring. You can see through that bag. Let me get one that you can see through the bag better, I think. You can see through it. But you can see that they're all the same. It's just a different type of gemstone. And there's the, the rose quartz. Okay. And then here's the lapis. It's almost a navy color. It's so dark. It's a navy color. And the tiger's eye. We love tiger's eye. A lot of people really love the flash of tiger's eye. I've got three of each. Okay. And again, this is what they look like out of their bags. Really, really pretty. So if you have one that you like, just let me know which one. Well, I can put that in later. Now, moving on from the, the moons, let's go ahead and put this in there so it, it's not in our way and you don't get confused. So we'll put all of these back in this bag. They will come on a, a cord necklace for you to wear as soon as you get it. How did they get all these in here? <laughs> They'll go. You just have to jump, jump the whole lamp, juggle them around in there. Okay, I'm going to leave it open because I've got that other one to put in there. Okay, staying with the moon theme, here we have more. These are a different design okay some has the little uh um stars just a couple stars on here and you can see that gemstone it's just more simple then we have the tree a lot of people love that wire wrap tree and that is a opalite and um so i do have Whoops, three of the opalites right here. And that bag just did not want to stay closed, did it? And then we've got the citrine. I do believe this is citrine. No, Car uh, carnelian. I'm sorry, carnelian. Carnelian. And then we've got tiger's eye. I think, that, what is this? This is obsidian. This is a black obsidian one. Tree. Uh, tiger's eye tree. Tiger's eye tree, uh, rose quartz. Look at this rose quartz tree. It's really, really pretty. And it's got a nice, pretty pink to it, even though you it's probably washed out on the, the viewfinder, but it does. It has a nice, pretty deep pink. This one does two, um, three of the rose quartz, three of the obsidian, Black obsidian, and then there you've got your uh, green adventuring. This one's really dark. The trees, and most of all these are trees. Okay, and then we have the amethyst, dream amethyst uh, trees. Okay, so um, I will be posting these up a little bit closer, a, a picture. Keep a look, watch for Sundancer Art Gallery on Facebook because I'll be putting some of these things on and seeing if anybody wants any. So this is the amethyst, and these are the trees, green adventuring, rose quartz, tiger's eye, carnelian. The carnelian is not trees. The carnelian is the uh, has um, stars on it, so it's a little different. You can see the difference here. Well, let me get a darker one. Whoops. You can see the difference here. One has got the little stars and one's got the, that. So the only ones with the stars are the carnelian, okay? Um, and it's different from these round ones that you saw earlier, okay? And then there's the opalite. I have three of the tree opalites and then three of the obsidian of that design. I'm gonna to have to get to get more um, necklaces to put in on these, <laughs> but I should have enough. 
If I run out of necklaces, I'll let you know. And um, if you don't want a, a, a cord, the cord comes with it. If you don't want the cord, let me know, and I won't put one on yours. If you have something else you want to wear it on. So, there's that. And here are hearts. These are the heart trees. These are all heart trees. And some of them are teardrops, okay? These opalite trees right here are are teardrops. And then I have a heart tree that is opalite. Okay? And I'm going to show you those up close. So you can see how pretty those are. Really nice and pretty. So, teardrop, opalites. I have, how many do I have of these? And they are trees made out of that wire wrap. And then we have three opalite uh, hearts. And I have more. This is more opalite. I love opalite. People love this. Opalite sells. People love it. Okay. So here's two uh, rose quartz hearts trees. And you'll be able to see that here. Right there. See what that looks like. A lot of people love this. Then we've got the tiger eye heart trees right there. And then we have, let me make sure that's not an obsidian. That's an obsidian. <laughs> three tiger's eye, three obsidian heart trees, and then three of the green adventuring trees. Okay, so I will put these in my hand so you can see the difference in those. This is the obsidian. This is black. The other one is a green adventuring, and this is the tiger eye. You can see the flash from that. But that's what those are. Okay, so just let me know if you like them. They won't be real expensive. I don't, I mean, these are genuine gemstones, except the opalite is a man-made gemstone or stone. But people don't let that bother you. People do not let that bother them at all. They love it because of how pretty it, it is. It's just like opals, just like opals. And uh, people love it. Tiger's Eye, Obsidian, Green Adventuring. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful products right there. Um, we also have some heart, little hearts. They're not drilled. They don't, I mean, they don't have holes. They're just the gemstones shaped in hearts, okay? And I'm going to throw them all out there. Look at there. Look how pretty that this is that pink that rose quartz is so pretty oh my goodness look at all that oh my goodness I'm so happy with this look at here look at that oh my goodness and then this amethyst right here is so pretty and then we've got some rhodonite right there and then this rose quartz um, there's a clear quartz, a green adventuring, and I think that's all that I've got. This is the yeah, adventuring. Now this, this may be moss agate. Yeah, that's a little different. Okay, so yeah, all of these are so pretty. And then you've got your white quartz, and then you've got your pink here, tiger's eye. Look at this. How pretty this is. This looks like strawberry. This is a strawberry um, quartz right here. I'm going to keep that one. It's not quite as shiny as the rest of them. 
So you can see that wonderful tiger's eye down there. Look how pretty these are. So let me know if you like these. Um, I'll put the prices under under them when I put them on there. I'm probably just going to go, oops, I'm just going to use my Facebook page rather than that. Send that to our gallery store. Just seems like everybody, it's, it's so much easier for them to navigate Facebook rather than um, any other thing. Okay. Oops. Don't be so rough, Lara. All right, these are palm stones. And this is a Labradorite palm stone. And you can see the, the flash in this one. I believe it is a Labradorite. If not, I'll, I'll, I'm going to find out. But it's really nice. Then we have another one that is exactly the same of that. They're not, they're, they're real smooth. Now we have, okay, the sodalite. I think this is sodalite. This is that blue and white sodalite. Palm stone, so they fit in your palm. A lot of people that have anxiety um, like to feel things. Feel things that smooth and they will um, calm down that way. And here's some more of them. You see how pretty these are. Look the marbling in those. Really pretty. And it's it's almost a purple. It's a it's a blue purple color. Then we've got another one of these. These gray ones. Another gray one. And this is the strawberry quartz. Let's see this. I think we have this where I go hunting and I'm going to grab, I've gra grabbed some of it to, to see if I can tumble it and see if it turns out to be strawberry quartz. If not, it's fire quartz, which will be a great thing if it is. <laughs> and here's another one. The look how deep this one is Depend, uh, compared to that one. You can see the de depth of strawberry look to it. Oh my goodness. Pretty, pretty hearts. And here's another soda light one. So you can see all of these. Labradorite. I do believe this is Labradorite. If not, I will correct it. Because it looks a little... I may, I'm going to have to ask them what that is. Now I need to be careful because I have some pieces of rock. So, see, this is going to scratch them. So I need to make sure that my surface, I don't move, move them around on that surface and then, then scratch them up. That wouldn't be good. So making sure. Okay, those are palm stone hearts. They are pretty big. Nice size. All right, let's see. I'm going to have to stand up and see. All right, here we go with something different. These are little spheres of different... Uh, no, they're not. Sorry. <laughs> I saw these two up here and thought they were, but what this is, that's a Labradorite right there. Look at this. Look at the, look at the um, flash in this one. If you can see that pretty flash in that. And it's not a total sphere. I mean, it looks like a sphere, but it's actually kind of not round. And then we've got a uh, carnelian. These are just tumbles, I think. What you would call tumbles. And opalites. All of these wonderful opalites. Here's another. This is um, a quartz in there. May even have golden healer in there, that yellow. Could be golden healer in there. 
I hope it's focusing. You can see. All right, and all the rest of them are opalites. <laughs> Everybody loves these. They love opalites. And you can see right there how they just catch light and just looks like it's glowing. It's just so, so pretty. And you can do things with these. You can put these in your pocket or just have them in your hand to, to feel on them. They're very smooth. Really cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's see. This next thing is a large, a larger ammonite. Look at this. It is the size of my hand, just about the whole size of my hand, from my fingers to my palm. And it's both sides. You get both sides. And you can see the druzy that has started, that was forming in there. You can see that druzy down inside those areas is trying to have druzy in there when it was forming. And these were alive snails when they were pressurized pr with a lot of pressure in the sediment that they were in at the time. And if they were in the bottom of our regular ocean and the great flood from Noah was a mile above the highest mountain, you can imagine how much pressure was on these snails, okay? And whatever sediment, mud or sand or whatever they were in, it, it all pressed together and so they find big boulders and when they uh, when they know which boulders to look for and when those boulders are opened up they'll see these in there and they'll chisel them out they'll chisel chisel them out and then whenever um, some they open up half like this some they leave alone because the outside is just so pristine and pretty that they won't cut it open but this one really, when they cut it open, I bet they just went, ooh, look at that. It's really cool. And you get both sides of these when you, you get the pair when you purchase them. And uh, stands, if I have them on hand. If I don't, then I, you know, I'll, I'll try to have stands for everything. Okay, now here is some more opalite. These are, these are cubes. These were just kind of preformed tumble-like things. These are actually cubes. They're more in a cube form. So some people want the cubes. Cubes, you know. And that's what that is. Whoops. I'm trying to break them, ain't I? Okay, everybody. Let's see. We're getting close to the end. Another ammonite pair. And I'm just going to pull them out like that. And you can see this one. There's a little bit of a uh, mother of pearl look to about the outside. Just a little bit. Not much. But when you open it up, look there. Look how interesting. Interesting. Isn't this beautiful? What a conversation piece. And it's a fossil. It's something that you have, I mean, that lived a long, 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 long time ago. And people can have the, you can own a fossil and tell people about it. It's great. Wonderful. And you get both, both sides. And this is a smaller set of ammonites. You can see you get both both pairs. This is the inside of this this pair. 
really cute. It's about, they are about the size of your palm. And the outside is pearl-like. There's a little bit of rainbow right in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but a little bit of rainbow in that area, in this little area. And then this is the other side. I don't know if there, yeah, there's rainbow right here. I hope you can see that. But yeah, it's really nice little set if you don't want to get any of the big ones. Okay, let's see. I'm at the bottom now. Okay, here's some more. This is uh, cubes and rounds. What did I just throw up? Oh, something just fell off. Oh, it there. And this is um, fluorite. Fluorite, there's green, there's purple, there's dark, and they're all in a cube. Really neat. Isn't that neat? Beautiful way to enjoy the gemstones. Let's see what is on this side. Okay, you can see this pretty green right there. Let's see if I can get them all out on the... Oh, had some styrofoam. And there's some... And, and some of this is uh, dream amethyst that's so dark. Some of this has some dream amethyst in it and some... I don't know. That may be just really dark fluorite. I don't think that's dream amethyst. I think that's fluorite. Because this is all... This was supposed to all be fluorite. So it shouldn't have anything in here other than fluorite. So that is just that beautiful, deep, fluorite purple. Okay. Get them all in there. And what I do at my shop, at my booth, is I have a little container that I'm going to put square things in and want some of the others. And that way people can just fill up a bag of them. For like uh, eight to ten dollars or whatever I put on them depends on what what it is. Um, I have a big surprise for y'all. Okay, and so I'm gonna look and make sure that this is the. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this one because it's so big. And now the for last. Now this is next to last right here. Okay, so I am going to put this box down right here and I am going to show you this is a whole box a whole box of amethyst clusters in there you see that if you want one let me know I can open this up if you want the whole box let me know but um, I don't want to open it up yet but you can see just how some of these are Got some really big. Some of it is uh, a little small, but and and some of the different ranges and colors and sizes. So just let me know if you're interested in any of these that you can make trees. I think they're big enough to have make a small gemstone tree, and this is a base. Okay, I'm gonna lift you up now, and I'm gonna show you the last item because it's very important that you see it. Okay, I said it's very important that you see it, and it is, it's in, up, up here, upright, okay? Um, it's heavy, and I'm just so thrilled. I'm thrilled about this, to offer this. Okay, are you ready? Look how big this ammonite is. You can see the back of it, and there's the front. It comes with a uh, stand. So, <laughs> this is bigger than my head. I mean, it's huge. Is it on my shoulder? It is bigger than my head. Huge huge it is an ammonite it is as big as my head you can see it 
Right here, look a look a. It's on my shoulder. <laughs> it's huge, everybody. Look how pretty it is. Look at the different colors that's in there. That wonderful circular design. If you have this color, cord, uh, it, you can color coordinate it in your house. If you have a beach home, or if you have anything that is just a, a lot of different stuff, you like rocks and different things, you can display this on, and, and it comes with a stand. It will have a stand with it. And uh, it, this is not bargain basement. This is going to be around $200 with the stand. And, I mean, it's heavy. This is heavy. This is heavy, okay? Um, but you see the back side. It doesn't have much of a rainbow on the back side, but the front side is what you're going to be showing anyways. I mean, the inside of it <laughs> is what you're going to be showing anyways. This wonderful pattern. Um, no one else will have one of these in their home. No one. And this is a great conversation piece. You tell them how it was formed. Um, you actually hold in your hand a real fossil like the little beady fossils. And this was chiseled out of a big uh, boulder just the same as the little ones were. And this is how big this one was when it was put, when, when that flood and that, that pressure was put and it, um, when it went into that sediment and that, that pressure from all that water pressed down on it, it made it into a rock and it fossilized it. So, so neat. You can tell people you have real prehistoric fossils. So, <laughs> this is, and it's, it's really special. This is a special, special item that someone out there is going to say, hey, I want that. I want that for my home and give it a home. So, this is really special. I'm so glad to have been able to get it for y'all and offer it for y'all. It, uh, some of these come as big as cars and huge big ones. They come, they come in all different shapes and so, I mean, all different sizes. They're all about the same shape, you know, but yeah, isn't that exciting? I was so happy. This is the biggest one that I've offered. It's the only one I have of this size. If you want, if it gets sold out and you're wanting one, let me know. I'll, I'll see what I can Tra track down with my wholesalers so thank you so much for watching this video and stay sticking with me throughout this whole thing with all of this this is just one box i have like maybe four left in there that is from the same seller that all come in at one time i was just buying and each week i was buying and now it's all coming in at once and I'm like freaking out because I don't have enough room for all of it at my booth. So <laughs> anyways, if you see something you like, make sure that you check out Sundancer Art Gallery. And whenever I put things on there, make sure you follow that. So that way you'll, you'll know on Facebook, follow Sundancer Art Gallery. So when I put new items on there, if you want to snag one, that's how you're going to snag one. Okay. So y'all have a good to rest of your week today's thursday and i am so glad to have you as my friends and and the encouragement and the prayers that you send my way god bless each and every one of you i'm praying for each and every one of you i love you bye